Hey everyone, this is Alec Kermit. Welcome to part 3 of Ocarina of Time Speedrunning 101. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on advanced tricks and glitches. The first glitch we're going to talk about is cutscene diving. Cutscene diving is used to reach the bottom of a water source without the need of a diving scale or the iron boots. This trick is especially useful for reaching the bottom of the well early as well as doing the water temple without iron boots. The first method is the spell dive. It can be done with any three of the magic spells. While luring an enemy towards you, get on the very edge of a water source. Now activate a magic spell moments before being hit by the enemy. After being hit, you will fall through the water until the spell's casting animation ends or you reach the bottom. The next method is the ocarina dive. To do the ocarina dive, you need a steep slope that Link cannot stand on, one where he will fall if he touches it. Get on the very edge of the steep slope, move towards it, and then immediately push the ocarina button. If done correctly, you will fall through the water until you reach the bottom. The next method is the cuckoo dive, which of course requires a cuckoo. To do this dive, first get ISG and then pick up a cuckoo. Get near the edge of a water source and turn away from it. Press and hold the shield button and then immediately do a backflip. You will regain control of Link once the angry cuckoo cutscene is over. There's another method of cutscene diving, but I'm saving it for a later video. The next trick we're going to talk about is vine clipping. Vine clipping is used to clip through any wall that has a climbable surface. This can only be done as Child Link. One of its greatest uses is getting the ice arrows as Child Link without having to get a single key from the Gerudo training ground. The basic idea is to grab the climbable surface at the same time that you get hit by an attack. The easiest way to vine clip is to store a ground jump and then stand flat against the base of a climbable surface. Use the ground jump and then immediately press forward on the control stick, the bomb chew button, and the shield button at the same time. If timed correctly, you will fall straight through the wall. To vine clip with just a bomb chew, get on the climbable surface and hold Z. Press down on the control stick and A at the same time and then immediately press forward on the control stick, the bomb chew button, and the shield button at the same time. Next up is bomb chew hovering as an adult. Hovering is used to travel through the air, and it can be used to reach nearly any area in the game. To bomb chew hover as an adult, first get ISG and make sure the hover boots are equipped. Now back walk to the very edge of a drop off. Do a back flip and then press the bomb chew and shield buttons at about the same time, making sure that you push the bomb chew button first. Once the bomb chew is finished exploding, you can let go of the shield button. From here, just repeat the back flip hovering process, but you no longer need to hold the Z button. When you want to stop hovering, do a back flip, side hop, or swing your sword. Bomb Chew hovering too close to a wall will make the Bomb Chew run away. This next trick is called the Super Slide, and it's the fastest known method of travel in the game. Aside from traveling, Super Sliding can be used to clip through objects and corrupt cutscenes. To set up for a Super Slide, get on level ground and do a backflip. Midway through the backflip, Press the bomb button and then immediately the shield button. Continue to hold the Z and shield button and back away from the bomb until you are just outside of the grab icon range. As soon as the bomb's flashing gets faster, do a very quick double tap on the A button. If timed well enough, you will have pulled off a super slide. To end your super slide, let go of the shield button. You'll need to practice super sliding a lot to become consistent at it. The last trick that I'm going to explain in this video is hover sliding, which is very similar to hover boosting, although hover sliding gains you more distance. To hover slide, find a gap that you want to cross and turn away from it. Perform a super slide and then pause and equip the hover boots before you reach the edge of the gap, and then unpause. 
You will super slide through the air until the hover boots stop working. As always, you'll need to practice a lot to become consistent at these tricks.